Good morning, folks. Sorry we're a little late today. Kids and wife take precedent. But here's a photo from the Observer's event we had on Friday. Sadly, the half of folks who left early weren't around for the photo, but it was a wonderful time. Thank all of you who came out. And I would love to hear in the comments section today in which cities you'd like to see Observer events later this summer if possible. As for our star, I'm in full-scale watch mode. There are several eruption watches from filaments to the northern active region. And if someone had told me that after yesterday morning's X-class solar flare, which is the spike you see in the middle, that we'd have four more M-class solar flares and two smaller, longer duration eruptions, I would have bet we'd had CMEs coming at Earth. But we do not. The flaring and eruptive activity has entirely been near the limbs, incoming on the north, departing on the south. Right now, the big sunspot group up north is in most focus. It retains the big flare potential and is likely to produce the space weather stories over the next several days. But nothing yet. A couple quick notes here. Special survey of magnetic sites in Israel revealed more powerful fields than were found even at high latitude, where they thought the magnetic poles and strongest fields should be. They plainly recognized the repeating disaster of a pole shift, a non-dipole axial setup during the excursion and reversal, and found it zeroes down to both 100,000 and 12,000 year time scales of the Holocene variability. Yes, that is the cycle happening again now. Also folks, Kilifarska is one of the most cited authors in our solar terrestrial physics textbooks, and this chapter of the upcoming book they have is free to read. It only lightly touches on the breadth of solar particle forcing, and adds a new one of lower atmospheric ozone modulation, but hey, it is a free peek into the major progress in solar climate forcing, making it into other textbooks now. Call that competition for us if you like. I welcome it, and I know I'm witnessing the awakening of the larger scientific field. Last but not least, new Big Burb episode yesterday, little short one. If you are not caught up on the disaster vehicle, now's the time. We've done all the mechanical work and are going to be putting the beast back together. We greatly appreciate your support. Our books and observer gear is at otf.cells.com, but right now my eyes are on our star for flare activity. It is 7 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.